Hey there Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here. In this video we're going to cover the quest Disarming Discovery, which is the fourth quest in the Steel Dawn questline, update 24. Before we get started, please take this moment to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the Naked Vault Dweller YouTube channel. In our last quest, Field Testing, Paladin Romani sends you on your first mission without supervision. She tasks you to visit the Putnams, a small family residing in Lewis and Sons Farm Supply, about feral ghoul attacks in their area. You meet up with the Putnams and end up recruiting one of their sons into the Brotherhood of Steel. The son ends up assisting you get rid of the feral ghouls and you return back to Paladin Romani for debriefing. After you are debriefed, Paladin Romani tells you that an independent settlement needs the Brotherhood of Steel's help. Apparently, a group of Blood Eagles are raiding the village and taking their supplies. Romani tells you to visit the settlement, the retreat, formerly known as the Treetops, and speak with Jenny Brown for more details. Upon arriving at the retreat, you meet up with Jenny Brown where she likens herself as Mama Hen. She explains to you that lately her people have been harassed by a raider that goes by the name Dagger. Jenny tells you you should take some time to speak with some of the villagers to gather some useful information about Dagger. In the process, you will need to speak to three different villagers. People going hungry here. Sorry, we're a bit wary of strangers right now. Water, stim packs, everything. All in After you've spoken with the three villagers, you'll need to return back to Jeannie Brown where she'll ask you to assist her. After you agree, your quest marker will update to the location of Dagger's Den. When you reach Dagger's camp, don't be surprised to find the front door chained. You'll have a mixture of eight blood eagles, one dog, and one turret to take down before you can progress forward. And once you have a chance, you'll be looking for the entrance to Dagger's Den, and as it so happens, it looks just like this. Once in Dagger's Den, you'll notice a cockfighting ring and Blood Eagle guards posted all around. In total, you'll fight five normal Blood Eagles and one lieutenant in power armor toting a rocket launcher. Once you have the lieutenants down, you'll need to pick up the throne room key located at the top of this wood structure. Be careful as you approach it because there's a gun trap just across the bridge. And once you enter Dagger's throne room, Dagger will be sitting on the throne while she is surrounded by two of her lieutenants. I'm sure there's some dialogue here, but I just bypassed the small talk and went right to the kills. And once you've gotten rid of all the blood eagles, you'll want to collect the Brotherhood of Steel cash located here and collect the retreat supply crate located here. Your quest will update once more and you'll have to return back to Jenny Brown at the retreat. When you arrive, Jenny will thank you for returning the supplies and goes on to say that her people won't starve now. Your map marker will once again update and direct you to Fort Atlas to speak with Paladin Romani once again. When you arrive back at Fort Atlas, Romani and Knight Shen are in the middle of a discussion about crates they've been seeing with the Brotherhood of Steel's insignia on them. After they finish their discussion, both Romani and Shen congratulate you on your completed mission, then dismiss you. And that's it, Vault Dwellers. If you found this walkthrough to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're stuck somewhere, leave us a comment down below. I or someone else might be able to assist you. And thanks for watching.